Well, JC's got a great recipe of the world. Go down a treat, haven't you? Absolutely. Nice bit of salmon. And salmon on croûte, yeah, exactly. Ooh. What I like very much about these dishes is that you can make them in advance. You can even freeze it if you have to. Yes. Now I've got this beautiful piece of salmon, salmon fillet. Yes. And the idea is to introduce it with some spinach, which I have here. Okay. A little bit of herbs. We're going to swell them up at the last minute. Mix with some, uh, some garlic and a bit of butter. Right. And hopefully we're going to serve it into this lovely piece of pastry. Yeah, so on croute means obviously in right. pastry. And I think as a topping inside, which will be great, we're going to make some kind of a bernet sauce, which right. I believe you want to... Shall I do that? Well, I've got this quick pastry. method. Do you want to go f forward with your salmon first Absolutely. or your spinach? Or? Now the idea is taking the, the, the skin off. Very simple. You put your finger on the corner like this. Yep. Clean fingers, of course. And you, you point your knife under and basically just go under the salmon fillet. And right. that's it. And everything should be coming out, very simply. Very easy. You like this? You can get your fishmonger to do it if you want, can't you? Why not? Yeah, now, why not? the idea is to... First, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sweat very quickly some, uh, some spinach. With a little bit of olive oil. Yes. Now, again, if you don't like salmon, you can replace it with haddock, cod. Yes. Or even some prawns, why not? Why not? Now, yes. so carry on. Well, now, I was going to say, while you sweat your spinach down and let it wilt down, I've got this quick tip for hollandaise sauce and then you're going to add some herbs to it afterwards to turn it into a, uh -huh. a bernay sauce. What we've got here, I've got put a couple of egg yolks in there, a splash of cold water because I'm breaking all the rules here because we're going to use very hot butter. Okay, so I want my butter to be hot and that's why you need that splash of cold water. So have we got any little splash of vinegar there for the I have. sauce? I have actually it with the shallots. Okay, okay, okay we'll put that in there, yeah. A little bit of the shallot, well, so there's tarragon vinegar and shallots going in there. Now it'll give it that little flavour. And then let's just nick the lid out here. The butter's hot. So what we want to do is actually, it's easier, rather than pouring a saucepan in there, it's just to pour it into a jug. And don't worry about the residue. So many chefs say you've got to do it with clarified butter. I was taught by Paul Bocuse, a very famous Frenchman, who says that's complete nonsense. Okay, so we're just going to turn that on. And that will be great. <coughs> well, just stand back and you just, just treat it like you would mayonnaise. Very slow stream of butter. And you'll notice a change in sound shortly as it starts to thicken up. How are you doing, John Christophe? Very good, absolutely. Now I'm waiting for this, the spinach to cool off a little bit. So you're it's squeezing out the excess moisture, yeah? Yep. I'll be with you shortly, hopefully. Sure. You move on to your pastry. I've got to say, it's a lot more practical than I used to. Yeah? I used to, I used to be the emotion of the eggs for hours and hours. And, and, and uh, I like your quick way, that's fantastic. And if it works, you it works. I've got a spinach here, which has been sweated very quickly. I'm using some garlic, yeah. a fork, to give a little bit of garlic flavor to it. Now, the puff pastry has got to be rolled up in a such a way that we want to have the right thickness to... So it cooks quite quickly, yeah? Absolutely. Now, I'm going to, dis I'm going to place some, uh, some spinach on the bottom. Yeah. Then this lovely piece of salmon. Then again, on the top like this. I mean, already the flavor is dramatic. It's great. Now I'm going to use some yolk, some water, just for the first, the first layer. OK, that's ready, John Christoph. Just need a few okay, herbs to fantastic. put in there if you could. Well, I've got some tarragon and some chervil. Some tarragon and chervil. Just let last that, minute. that blade chop it all up in there. We blitz it again briefly. I've just put a little salt in there and off we go. And there you have it. Fantastic. I think it's very unusual to add your Berner sauce into, um, well, into your cooking. Usually you serve your dishes with it. Now you look at that, the, the texture is look at it. so... It's nice and shiny, and isn't it? Smell, look at that. The smell of the herbs are fantastic. Now I'm going to cover the other side of the puff pastry to it. Yes. And I think the only tip I can give you away is basically try to tight and extract as much air as possible. So take out as much air. That's right. And then finally just make your, using two fingers like this, and just pressurize the edges of the puffer tree. You're right. That's it. And nice. I'm going to put a little bit of decoration by using the same yolk and water on the top. Okay. 
very simply, very quick. Give it a little egg wash, nice shine. And those lovely decoration, which make it uh, nice and... Uh, so you just use the off-cuts of the pastry for that, that's yeah? That's right, yeah. yeah. There we are. And uh, finally, we're going to put this in oven. Oh, now, now the trick is, make sure the first five minutes we put it on 250 degrees to make sure we get all the colours straight mm. away. And then we turn it down, we turn the oven down to 180 degrees for about 15 minutes. Okay. Look at that. This is going to be absolutely Beautiful. fantastic. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, look at this. JC, you're going to be pleased with this one. Look at it. Beautiful colour. Thank you. Oh, the smell is... Fantastic. And I, I love I love the pastry when it's nice and crunchy. I'm going to put it on the tray and slice it. Okay. And you see, that's what everybody's waiting for. Look at this. The salmon should be nice and juicy. Look oh, at this. Yes. This is formidable. What are you going to serve that with, Jason? Now, what I want to do is, I've got some potatoes, very ordin ordinary potatoes, yes. which we can add a touch of butter, just like this, very quickly. Okay. A little bit of chervil. And... Give them a nice shine, yeah? Absolutely. And also, I love, I love putting black pepper on the potatoes. Little black pepper. Look That's at that, they look perfect. That can go into the plate. And I think, once again, because your sauce sends to be such... Well, it's a nice sauce. It's, it's just a cheats way of doing holidays. Obviously, the other way is slightly more drawn out, but this is so simple. Before the idea is to put some more, yes? Yeah, oh, quite. <laughs> anyway, look at this. The flavour, the smell. What a great dish. Mmm. That's gorgeous. JC. You've excelled yourself. Salmon en croûte. <laughs>